What's going on YouTube? It's Marvin Iceball here. I was inspired by Manny Ortiz. He did this shoot sometime during lockdown where he was using two different colors, uh, contra contrasting colors, um, to basically create a nice moody kind of feel uh, inside of his car. So the equipment that I'll be using today is my A7R4 uh, paired with the Tamron 70 to 180. I've got my two speed lights with me. So I've got the Godox V862 and I've got the AD200 Pro. Paired with that, I've got a Young Nuo um, light sword that I can't remember what they're called. I'm terrible with names. Basically the continuous light, I'm only bringing in just so that it helps me out when I'm focusing. Um, it would definitely be a bit of a problem if I was trying to focus and I had no light to, to help the camera. So that's the only reason why it's there. I might not need it, um, but we'll see. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police! Ah, oh, this might be a problem. doing is at the moment turning on the model like just so that I can acquire focus which is proven to be very very difficult if I'm honest. It's time to get into action now. So one hand on the wheel looking forwards like you're getting away. <laughs> You're such a noob. Okay, so in post, I'm noticing that the colors, the colors are coming out a little bit like, kind of like pinky. So what I might have to do later in post is um, kind of turn them, turn them a bit more red, but that's okay. That looks nicer, to be fair. Let me drop the power a little bit on the red side. Well, yeah. that's not really what I was looking for. And then what I'm gonna do is open the boot. I'm gonna try and get you in the rear view. So kind of point it so that it, it felt, I'm gonna regret this tomorrow when I'm driving, so I can see your face. These ones look fire, babe. All right, hand, hand on the wheel whilst you look like um, yeah. that, that girl. Uh, catch me outside. <laughs> catch me outside. Catch me outside, how about that? Hand on the wheel, kind of like on the edge of it, and then hand over like you're reversing. Bit more surprise, like you're actually being, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Look like, oh no, like shit, they, they're about to actually get me. Yeah. Well, that just looks staged, but I'm, I'm good with that. No. <laughs> Finished. Go on like Instagram or something. Go on, go on to, go on to Marvelous Visuals. <laughs> don't, look into, don't look into the mirror, just look straight. Yeah, that's good. And I might get that light and get you to lean out the window. Uh, but I'm gonna have to change the blue light a bit, probably, probably just put it on the back seat. Let's get the power up a little bit on the blue. Yeah. yeah. Could you lean out the window for me? So like more so left hand. Oh no, actually you could do right hand like that, but then left hand still on the wheel. Could you pass the light for me? I can't get focused. Look at eyes towards it, just eyes.
Right, so we are back home. I've edited a photo in, in Lightroom and used Luminar already. So myself and M have selected the, the photos that we like the most and then applied this preset to all of the photos selected. In relation to the enhancements, what I did was use Luminar. Um, I, I've, this is the first time that I'm really getting hands on with Luminar. It's, it's actually really good and uh, I'm going to edit one photo with you guys just so that you can see um, what, what I'm doing. Before we get into the next photo, as you can see, I've got a couple of adjustments uh, on M's face um, and this was simply because I decided to up the clarity and up the texture in the whole image and then take away that texture from the, the facial or the, the featured parts. Um, I say take away the texture, but technically speaking, because I added it on, it was almost like I was taking it back anyway, and it's kind of set to normal. Applied with Luminar's um, facial skin retouching. So I'll, I'll let you guys see on the next um, photo how, how things flow. I think I want to edit this one. I think I want to go for this one. So as I mentioned, preset has already been put on. Comment down below if you want this preset and you want to try it out for your own edits. So I just saved uh, the car photo shoot look. Basically, I will just show you what I've done. So if I go into the facial enhancements, all I've used is the skin enhancer and the portrait enhancer. So you'll see that the amount is up at 80, shine removals at nine. I just felt like that worked for the last image. You'll see these are the settings for the rest, so I was just really whitening the eyes um, and just kind of taking away uh, dark circles and stuff under the eyes. All the normal stuff that you do in retouching just made a lot more simple and then a couple of clicks. Um, once I'm happy with everything, uh, just go to apply and then it exports it back into Lightroom. So what I'm doing here is just checking to see there's any kind of imperfections that I need to touch up on and I accidentally focused on the back eye instead of the front but hey when it when it hits Instagram it won't be that bad sorry I picked a bad one for you guys but yeah we'll work with it and then literally just to finish off as I mentioned I up the texture for the whole photo I'm gonna set the um, mask overlay on and I'm literally just going to draw around the main parts of skin. Now what we're gonna do is make M look less like a zombie and just bring some white back into her eyes. And that is it. Please like the video if you like it, smash the like button, leave me some feedback. Let me know how I did. Um, let me know if this has inspired you to do anything differently. Um, what would you suggest that I do if I did this again? And lastly, please subscribe. If you like this video, then I plan to be putting out more videos like this where we get into more detail on set and in post editing. Until then, take care and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Babe? Babe! What are you doing? Stop looking at these people, man! Guys, can you see how hard it is to work with your partners? Can you put your hands down? I'm trying to focus here. Maybe because you're holding it back. That looks like you're actually like challenging someone, whereas when you're like that, it's relaxed. It's like, oh, whatever. Red's not really my colour, I'll just say. If you could do me a favour, yeah, grab that camera, I'm going to put it away. Yeah, give it, a, give it an outro if you want. Yeah, we're done. Oh, M's, M's tired. Oh, oh my no. god, get out of here, mate. <laughs>